morning, grandkids. As you can see, this is the cursed forest. And this man was had gotten a phone call, was driving through the woods to help somebody or find somebody, and wrecked his car. Come on, change screens. He went through that wooden barrier and... <laughs> Come on, wake up. Wake up. through the barrier up here somewhere so now he's got to start walking these woods, woods are kind of creepy I wonder if he could get back up there where is his car that he crashed down through that's what I'd like to know I mean he went through the barrier up there. It should be down here, but it's not. I don't know if this is a save point or not. It won't let me do anything, click on it or anything. So. I was scared to stay out in the open. I have a feeling that someone is watching me, right from the trees. The way through the cliffs seems like a good idea. It should allow me to get out of it faster and stay unnoticed. When I tried to traverse the cliff, one of the stones fell on my leg. It's like this place itself won't let me leave. My leg isn't damaged, but the stone has pinned my leg pretty badly. I have to free my leg before something else falls. I'm assuming that this isn't written by this guy that wrecked his car. It's probably written by whoever he came out here to find. I don't know why it's called Buried Alive when all he did was pin his leg. collected one note. Hmm. It is gloomy in this forest. This looks like they was trying to build a railroad track and didn't know how to do it. <laughs> in, in these woods along here, wooden pieces are supposed to be metal tracks. What do I know? Another place down here off the trail. Ever since I started researching and writing about abandoned places, there's always been one in particular that I've wanted to visit. 
I've heard many stories about the place, everything from cars mysteriously breaking down as they try to pass through, to travelers venturing into the forest never to be seen again. Then there's the tales about the settlement itself. The people that lived here, there, were building a railroad. <laughs> they didn't know how, until one day they all disappeared without a trace. The incident was, has almost been forgotten now, discarded as an urban legend, a ghost story to keep children from straying too far into the woods. Now I have the opportunity to finally visit the area, and who knows, maybe I'll even solve the mystery of what happened there. When I first entered the settlement, I couldn't believe how many things had been left behind. Whole homes abandoned, with all the family's belongings still inside. I find it hard to believe that these people would have left all their worldly possessions of their own free will. I feel as if every step I take leads me closer to discovering the truth. Still, no matter how exciting I find my discoveries, I feel uneasy in this place, as if I'm being watched. I don't know if I could go down in there or not. I can't hear, it's a big drop off. I better stick to the road. If I can get back up here and find it. Where's the road? <laughs> I'm always venturing off and, oh, here's another big drop off. Where did the road go? We came down to this from up here, I thought. Oh, it must have been over here. Uh oh. We're going to fall to our death. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, which one's run? Uh, left shift. Wow, we almost fell through. You know, grandkids, I would not want to walk through this in real life. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me in here because I'd be afraid something would catch me in here. This is pretty cool. the moon up there. Where did the music go? I hear some birds or squirrels.
comes the music. What's going to happen? What? Well, that was eerie. Let's check out. There goes the road, but let's check out. This looks like a swamp. I see low lying fog, like in a swamp. Ooh, it is. What's shining on those trees over there? A fire. I wonder if I'm supposed to go this way to get to the fire or that this road will take me around to it. The road takes me to it. Oh, there's a house. In the fire, it was a lantern. It's a map. There, there's this guy standing right there where we're looking at the map. There's the house. Huh. I guess we have been coming down this road. Oh, I don't get to keep the map? Oh, bummer. Notes. Uh, inventory. Hmm, I guess not. So, let's go up here and look at the house. Whoa! Whoa! What's in there, I wonder? I can't move that log or board. Oh, it's, is it wedged under the doorknob from the outside? So, maybe it's keeping something in? Oh my. Before we go in this house, let's look all around it. Oh, maybe that's that fire I saw. Do I have another note? No. This is a save fire. It doesn't say. Oh. Yeah, that goes down to the swamp. I could have come around around through the swamp to here. Well, what is that laying there for if I can't have it? I might need it. What is that? It looks like a porcelain sink of some kind. It's got wood laid. Was it a barbecue thing? I don't know. like a root cellar. Alright, let's look inside. Oh, I thought the door
door was going to shut behind me. What was that screeching? Ooh, a bug came in with me. I can't read any of this. And I can't take any of it. What's the money? Of course, I don't know what I'd do with money out here, but why is it so shiny? Here's a note for me. Can I sleep? No. There was a strange atmosphere in the settlement today. I wonder who's writing this. The people seemed more subdued and silent than usual, although it could have been a projection of my own foreboding. Sarah's predicament plays on my mind, so much so that out of the corner of my eye, I could swear I saw her sitting in my room. But when I looked, of course, she wasn't there. I will need to approach her father about his attitude towards her. He is a harsh leader and no different in his parenting. While the villagers seem enraptured by his vision, I am less convinced and find it hard to trust his word as certainly as the others. Although the streets were quiet today, in the night they seemed to have come alive. When I left my house to inquire as to the commotion, the noise faded into nothingness, as though it had never existed in the first place. Hmm. Tomorrow I will have to be braver and speak to Sarah's father. Then perhaps the feeling of unease will leave me and the inexplicable things that have been happening here will show themselves to be nothing but a fracture of my own nervous mind. Hmm, whoever's writing this is in a bad way, I think. There's still nothing in here for me. I don't know what that is laying in that plate. I can take that carrot. But I can't take that knife. I might need that knife. That carrot just went into my inventory. Why didn't it go up in there? It's a delicacy, but it's not for me. Well, or this person. Huh. Oh. What am I? What, I can't get out of this. Let me look at my notes. Jump, run, sit, use. Inventory. Oh, get back out. I was in my inventory. Alright, there's nothing here for me except a kick. <gasps> whoa! Whoa! What in the world blew from back here? There's nothing here. That was weird. Alright, we came in from there. Let's continue on down the road. <coughs> What's this, a scarecrow? I should have waited till Halloween to play this, I guess. Whoa, cool picture. Shall we continue on or go this way? I think that looks like it goes back down to the swamp again. Look at the muddy water. It's 
Sounds like a cow somewhere. Mooing. Or a beast. It sounds like a cow. going, but I hope I get somewhere. Now there's a split in the path again. I'm not going to find my way back to that path we left. I'm going to get so lost. Uh, I can't crouch. Looks like a bridge. How do I get to it? Let's, let's see if we can climb. Aha! I guess it wasn't a bridge. It was just a fence railing across there. going to be so totally lost. There's the swamp. I bet that's a fire up there that I've already been at. Yan told me that there is a cave hidden in the forest where many years ago thieves from the city had precious contraband. When they were caught, the cave was searched and the valuable items were confiscated and removed. As I knew of few interesting stories about this area, I pestered Yan for every detail he knew. We searched for the cave for weeks with only a vague idea as to its location. Eventually, on one of our many rambles in the forest, I found it, exactly as it had been described, the boulders flanking either side of the entrance, the hanging ivy partially obscuring the hole in the rock face, the fallen log perched precariously above it. I wanted to go inside, but the daylight only penetrated a few feet into its depths. 
I'd had the illogical thought that maybe something precious had been left behind in there. Jewels that had fallen into a crack in the floor and gone unnoticed. Money that had been hidden extra securely amongst the stalagmites and had not been found. Gold pieces buried under a thin layer of dirt in the floor. Yan convinced me not to go in. The ground was slippery and uneven, and without a light to guide our way, we could get lost in a branching tunnel. Pfft, I can get lost in the forest. I never returned to explore. I think that's for the best. If I'd have entered the cave, it would have been empty and only filled with my disappointment. Since I never went back, in my mind it remains an untouched cavern filled with riches a room of lost glittering treasure, a precious memory. Something went across there. It wasn't a crow because it didn't call. Ooh, what's burning over there? Oh, wow. That's a big drop off. What are these eerie sounds? Just totally, I can't jump that far. There's got to be another way somewhere in there. Even if I get a way back running start, I can't jump that far. And up, it's up higher than this level. I got to get in there. I think there's another note in there. Oh man. There's got to be another way. There's no way through any of this steep-sided rock. the way we came into this place. there where that broken maybe oh that's where his car crashed through is this where we're at no It won't let you go everywhere you want to. There's a, there's a, I want to go up there. I 
Ugh. So totally lost. That's the way the fires glow on the trees. This is spooky, and I like it. See, see, to me, now, this is spooky, and this makes me feel fearful, because I don't know what might be around me, but there's no jump scares, which would only startle me and make no sense. Oh, I'm back to the house. Oh my god! That axe was over there on that barrel, but somebody threw it right at me. Can I take it? No. Holy cow! Where did it... Where did it get thrown from? Nobody is here to have taken it out of there and throw it. Alright, we came up in here from that way. And we've been going out through there. I don't guess we've been this away. Squirrels, if that's what they are, are going to get on my nerves. It'd be cool if I found that guy's cave, but I don't think I'm going to.
If I go off through there to investigate, I'll never find my way back to the road. It's hard enough to see as it is. up there. Oh, this is the bridge we came across and almost fell through. So we need to go somewhere else. get out the other side if I go in there. Do I need to go in there? know where to go up here. Well, that was a useless trip. bridge again. Is there light under it? Why? Should I go back and find some other way? I've been there. I don't know, but grandkids, I'm going to leave it here, and you can buy this game and wander around to your heart's content. There's more to it and more to see, but I'm going to leave it here and leave it all up to your imagination, and you can get it and play it. Bye-bye, grandkids.